Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have our final fairy tale of the natural world from Edith Howes. And this story is, again, a highly accurate view in the life cycle of... Well, it's right there in the title, isn't it? Wheat. This is... The Wheat People. It was spring. The winter storms were over, the sun was beginning to warm up the earth, and everything was stirring. Under the ground, the wheat babies were pushing off their warm blankets and struggling out of their cradles. We wish to go up now and see what the world is like, they said. They pushed and pushed until at last their heads were above the ground and they could see what the world was like. What a beautiful place, they said. How blue the sky is and how golden the sun all around the birds are singing. They grew tall and graceful and waved and nodded to one another across the field. Now it was early summer. The wheat boys and girls had grown up and were busy building their little houses. Such dainty little houses they were, with shining walls and polished floors and delicate green silk hangings. Then the wheat people stood on their doorsteps and waved feathery flowers out of the doorways as a signal to the wind. We are ready to be married, they called. Come and marry us, please. The wind came blowing gently out of the west and took them on its broad wings and carried them to one another's houses to be married. The birds sang, the sun shone, the crickets played the wedding tune on their little banjos, and the wee wheat people were as happy as could be. The later summer came, and in each house the door was shut to keep the drought from the dear wee baby that had come. The later summer came, and in each house the door was shut to keep the draught from the dear wee baby that had come. There was no time to stand on the doorstep now, for everybody was busy, feeding the baby and making a store of food for it when father and mother should be gone. Autumn came. The wheat people turned golden, for they were growing old, and gold, not gray, is the sign of age amongst the wheat people. In each house the baby lay in its cradle, wrapped in snow-white blankets and surrounded by rich white food for the winter. The reaper thundered into the field, and the tired wheat people fell gratefully before the sharp knives, for they were glad to rest. Our children are provided for, and that is all that is necessary, they thought, as they lay dying in the sheaves. Winter came. The field was ploughed and bare. But in the barn, the new wheat babies slept in their snug cradles till they should be placed in the warm, moist earth and the time of spring and growth should come again. And that is The Wheat People, the fairy tale where Edith Howes describes the life cycle of, well, wheat in a way that informs children and adults as to exactly what is going on in the fields. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week, I'll be back with three new tales. As always, thank you all so much for listening.